Hi, hello. Welcome to the session. So today's session is dynamic evaluate component. Our agenda is what is dynamic evaluate, how it works and POC on it. What is dynamic evaluate? So the dynamic evaluate component evaluates an expression to select a database script and then execute the new script to generate a result. This behavior enables you to dynamically select the script instead of hard coding it into the transform message component. So basically it helps in evaluating database scripts, dynamic scripts. So here this is the requirement. So our re requirement is three different requests from UI they are triggering this listener. So once, the, once this listener gets re uh, request triggered, so it will retrieve the data from the source system. So the same data which we need to send pass to customer one, customer two and third party API. But the requirement is different. This customer one, uh, it is expecting the response in CSV format. And customer two, they are expecting the response as XML format. And this third party API service, they are a service that they, they have to provide, they have to send some notifications or SMS to that particular uh, uh, customers. So in that service, they need to send, uh, we need to send only name and phone number. So by using that phone number, this third party API, they will send us some uh, notifications or SMS kind of thing. So whatever the data we are getting from source system, we need not to send all the data to this third party API. And whatever the data we are getting from source system, we need to send uh, the data as CSV format to this customer one. And we need to pass the same data as XML format to this customer two. And only uh, name and phone number uh, from the data we need to send to third party API. So here in this request, uh, we have to pass this customer as query parameter, uh, customer equal to CSV as query parameter to send the data in CSV format. And uh, to this customer, we need to pass or uh, they are uh, uh, they are getting the uh, they are getting the response as XML format by passing this cus uh, customer query parameter as XML. And here, this third party service they are getting uh, this listener uh, based on this header uh, parameter that is customer equal to customer service API. So to achieve this requirement, we can uh, uh, use uh, different methods. But today's our topic is dynamic evaluate component. So how to achieve this requirement through dynamic evaluate components? Let's see. So how to do this task with dynamic evaluate component from mule core component? So this dynamic evaluate component is one of the mule core component. So by following three different steps, we can achieve this requirement through dynamic evaluate component. So first of all, in the first step, we need to create database scripts in .dwl files under source main resources. And in the second step, we can dynamically select the database script to be executed with respect to any varying parameter. So here in this case, we need to create a mule variable to store the dynamic data view uh, client specific script using read URL in which DWL file to be picked is based on the query parameter or header passed by the client application from UI. So in the third step, we need to configure this dynamic evaluate component to read the dynamic script and run on the payload. So these are the three steps we need to follow to achieve that requirement. So in the first step, creating data view scripts. So we have to create three uh, different types of uh, data view scripts. So here I have created three different uh, data view scripts under this DWL file, DWL folder. So this DWL folder that is created under this source main resources, I have created this DWL folder first. And after that, I have created three different files under this DWL folder, inside this DWL folder. So I have given that name as xml.dwl, csv.dwl, and third party.dwl. And uh, based on the requirement, I have uh, configured uh, and I have given this logic inside this three uh, data view scripts. So write the logic based on each requirement in each script. That is the first step. And in the next step, creating variable to load the script. So we have to load the script by using this uh, logic under this uh, uh, set variable. 
So drag is set variable give you a name. So here I have given the name as DWL dynamic evaluate and uh, I have written the logic inside this value. So attributes if attributes dot query parameters dot customer equal to equal to CS, CSV it should read the URL from class path DWL slash CSV dot DWL file. So this is the class path which is referring source made resources and it is reading this file path. DWL slash CSV dot DWL that is the file it is reading by using this read URL command. And after, at the same time uh, if the query parameter we are passing uh, customer equal to equal to XML it should pick the data we script from this uh, XML dot DWL file. If, if uh, the request is request contains header and that is uh, equal to customer service ABC then it should pick the file from third party third party dot dwl file script so this is the uh, logic uh, which i have uh, given under this value section and in the third step i need to execute this dynamic evaluate component so how to execute this dynamic evaluate component so in this configuration here in the expression section i am referring it is vars dot dwl dynamic evaluate so this dynamic evaluate uh, based on the logic which we have given in the set variable based on that logic this dwl dynamic evaluate component picks the uh, 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 picks the particular dwl script so on that script it will execute on this payload and it will uh, uh, execute on its payload and it, it gives the response so select the dynamic core component from uh, new palette and in the expression section give the variable name where's your dwl dynamic evaluate and in the target value here this is the target value this payload we are getting it from the third uh, we are getting it from the source system so let me go to my studio and uh, uh, show how uh, this execution happens so this is the poc and here uh, I have configured a listener with the uh, path dynamic evaluator dynamic EV and this is the listener connector configuration host local host and port is x to and after that I placed a set variable in this set variable So uh, let me show you the uh, DWL files first and here under the source main resources this is my sample project under source main resources I have DWL folder inside this DWL folder I have configured three database scripts one is third party dot DWL this is the script this is the script and this is the logic for that and the next one is csv dot uh, dwl so this is the uh, logic which i am uh, transforming this data into csv format and this is the xml dot dwl and this is the uh, logic to transform the data into xml format so this is the sample project here is my listener and this is the configuration And this is the configuration and I have given the path I have given the path as dynamic evaluate EV dynamic EV and in this set variable I have given this logic if attributes dot query parameters dot customer equal to equal to CSV then it should read the file from CSV dot DWL so this file it should pick if uh, the customer is equal to equal to XML it should pick or it should read the file from xml dot dwl file or if if header dot customer equal to equal to this customer service abc it should read the file from third party dot dwl so this is the configuration and this is the value i have given for this uh, set variable and here i have configured a request the request path is source system and uh, here in my local system it is there for uh, uh, 
to uh, to explain uh, this how it comes from another source system in that way let's assume that it is a third party system other system but uh, as of now it is configured in my local system only so this is the configuration i am retrieving the data from this uh, uh, source system uh, source system and here i have configured a logger and uh, uh, to just show you the how the payload is uh, uh, how the payload is retrieved from a uh, source system and this is evaluate component so this is the uh, configuration of this dynamic evaluate component and here in this expression section we need to uh, switch to this mode and uh, we have to select the variable where star dwl dynamic evaluate and then we have to uh, give the target value as payload so whatever the expression that is uh, picked by this where star dwl dynamic evaluate component that script will be executed on this payload whatever the payload we are getting the we are getting from this requester so the my uh, this api is already in execution it is already started let me hit from the postman assume assume that it is from a uh, uh, ui so here uh, uh, this is the path and uh, this is local host 8082 which is my port and this is the path here i am passing the query parameter so query parameter always begins with a question mark so i am passing here customer customer equal to csv so this is the parameter customer equal to csv i am uh, passing i am not passing any body here i am just passing this query parameter and let me send a request so it will be triggered uh, this listener triggers this uh, request and uh, in this set variable so let us see let's see what is uh, stored in this set variable so you can see under this so it, it, it picks this uh, uh, script that is nothing but this uh, csv dot dwl script so because the set variable condition is satisfying this uh, csv query parameter so that's why it picked this script Let me go to this uh, here. Let me minimize this. So now it came here into this uh, dynamic evaluate component. So here it, it is. Uh, so here the expression that is taken uh, from this vars or dwl dynamic evaluate component and it is executing on this payload let's see what is the payload that is coming from this request so this is the request this is the payload which is coming from this requester name phone number account type account balance address country so this is one object and uh, here it is an another object so in this array it contains two objects let me let me complete this execution and uh, move to postman so this is the response we are getting we are passing the query parameter as customer equal to csv we are getting the response as csv format so let me send this customer equal to xml so they are expecting the response in xml format let me send this re uh, response as a request so it came here in the set variable let's go to next processor let us see what is stored in this set variable so here it picks this xml.csv xml.dwl uh, script so this is the variable and uh, let's go to so here this is the payload this is the payload which we are getting from source system and here this is the variable which it is uh, he created dwl uh, dynamic evaluate it picks this uh, xml dot dwl script and uh, this script will act on that payload and uh, finally we will get this response
इन एक्स एम एल फॉर्मेट का एंड नाउ यू विल पास द रिक्वेस्ट थ्रू हेडर लेट्स गो टू दिस हेडर सेक्शन एंड हियर आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड दिस कस्टमर एंड कस्टमर सर्विस ए बी सी लेट्स हिट दिस Let's see. This listener is triggered, and in this set variable, go to this next component, and here variable is created. DWL uh, uh, dynamic evaluate, and it picks this third party dot DWL script. Based on the logic which we have given in this set variable, it picks this third party dot DWL script. let's move on to this uh, dynamic evaluator component and here this vaps dot dwl dynamic evaluate it picks this third party dwl and this script acts on this payload and uh, we will get the response customer name and phone number so so here uh, by using this uh, Few uh, components we can achieve this execution. So without using this dynamic evaluate, also we can achieve this execution by using the choice router and three or uh, three different types of uh, uh, transformation executions here. So by using this simple dynamic evaluate component, we can pick the data view scripts from the files which we have placed, uh, which we are located uh, under this uh, source main resources. and based on the expression we are giving in this uh, uh, configuration uh, this expression whatever the expression we have given here with that expression it will work on the payload so in this way the flow uh, can be minimized the the flow can be precise and uh, in that in that way this dynamic evaluate is very helpful 